Have you ever heard of the 1966 Italian epic spaghetti western film, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly? That's right, we're here because we have the same love for this film. You wouldn't imagine how much the cast has changed in the past 57 years. So today in this special video I will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors and how they have changed in 2023. Okay, let's see together. Mario Briga was born on March 25, 1923 in Rome, Kingdom of Italy, while filming, he was at the stage of being 43 years old. Sadly in 1994, he passed away at age of 71 in Rome, Italy, he died of heart attack. Mario Briga assumed the role of Corporal Wallace, a union corporal who is stationed at a prison camp in New Mexico. He is a corrupt and sadistic individual who enjoys abusing the prisoners. Wallace is first seen when he calls the role of prisoners at the camp. He notices that Tuco Ramirez is answering for a prisoner named Bill Carson. Cello Alonso was born on April 10, 1933 in Camagüey, Cuba, while filming, she was at the stage of being 33 years old. It is with great sadness that we announce her passing in 2019 at the age of 86 in Montana, Italy. Cello Alonso took on the role of Stephen's wife, a young, beautiful woman who is married to a wealthy rancher named Stevens. She is kidnapped by Tuco, the ugly, and Blondie, the good. Stephen's wife is a brave and resourceful woman. She manages to escape from Tuco and Blondie, and she eventually makes her way back to her husband. Enzo Petito was born on July 24, 1897 in Naples, Kingdom of Italy, he had reached the age of 69 when he participated in the filming. Sadly in 1967, he passed away at age of 70 in Rome, Italy, Enzo Petito great-grandfather was Antonio Petito, also a Neapolitan, who was an esteemed stage actor, known for his roles as a pulcinella in the Commedia dell'arte theatrical scene. Enzo Petito portrayed the character Storekeeper, a kind and helpful man. He is also a bit of a coward, but he is brave enough to stand up to Tuco when he is threatened. The storekeeper first seen in the film when he is approached by Tuco Ramirez, who is looking for a gun. Rada Rasimov was born on March 3, 1941 in Trieste, Kingdom of Italy, while filming, she was at the stage of being 25 years old. Currently in 2023, she is enjoying her life at the age of 82. Rada Rasimov took on the role of Maria, a young Mexican woman who is caught up in the violence and greed of the American Civil War. Maria is the wife of Tuco Ramirez, a bandit who is wanted by both the Union and Confederate armies. Maria is a kind and compassionate woman who is caught in a difficult situation. John Bartha was born on February 6, 1915 in Budapest, Hungary, when the filming took place, he was at the age of 51. We sadly inform you that he passed away at the age of 76 in Budapest, Hungary. John Bartha assumed the role of sheriff, a corrupt and incompetent lawman who is easily manipulated by the film's three main characters, Joe, Tuco, and Angel Eyes. In the film's opening scene, the sheriff is holding Tuco prisoner in order to collect the bounty on his head. However, Joe arrives and offers the sheriff a higher bounty to release Tuco. The sheriff agrees, and Joe and Tuco escape. Clint Eastwood was born on May 31, 1930 in San Francisco, California, when the filming took place, he was at the age of 36. Currently in 2023, he is enjoying his life at the age of 93, recognized for his remarkable achievements in both theater and cinema. Clint Eastwood portrayed the character Blondie a mysterious bounty hunter who is willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Blondie is a skilled marksman and a cunning fighter. He is also very intelligent and resourceful. He is able to outsmart his enemies and come up with creative solutions to difficult problems. Aldo Giuffre was born on April 10, 1924 in Naples, Kingdom of Italy, while filming, he was at the stage of being 42 years old. Sadly in 2010, he passed away at age of 86 in Rome, Italy. Aldo Giuffre assumed the role of alcoholic union captain, 
appears in the film when the Union and Confederate armies are preparing to battle at a bridge. The captain's nervousness and drunkenness make him a comic figure, but he also serves a serious purpose in the film. He represents the futility of war and the absurdity of sending soldiers to die for a cause that they don't even understand. Lee Van Cleef was born on January 9, 1925 in Somerville, New Jersey, when the filming took place, he was at the age of 41. It is with great sadness that we announce his passing in 1989 at the age of 64 in Oxnard, California, Van Cleef collapsed in his home from a heart attack. Throat cancer was listed as a secondary cause of death. Lee Van Cleef portrayed the character Sentenza, a professional bounty hunter, a ruthless and cunning individual who is willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done. He is also a skilled marksman and a master of disguise. Eli Wallach was born on December 7, 1915 in New York City, while filming, he was at the stage of being 51 years old. Sadly in 2014, he passed away at age of 99 in New York City, Wallach died of natural causes and his body was cremated. Eli Wallach portrayed the character Tuco, a Mexican bandit who is wanted for a long list of crimes. He is cunning, resourceful, and ruthless, but he is also loyal to his friends and family. Tuco is known for his distinctive laugh, his love of food, and his hatred of the Union Army. Luigi P. Stili was born on July 19, 1929 in Grosseto, Kingdom of Italy, when the filming took place, he was at the age of 37. We sadly inform you that he passed away at the age of 67 in Milan, Italy, Pistilli committed suicide in his home in Milan just before he was scheduled to appear in the final performance of Terence Radigan's Tosca on April 21, 1996. Luigi Pistilli portrayed the character Father Pablo Ramirez, the priest in a small Mexican village, a kind and compassionate man. He is also a brave man, as he is willing to stand up to Blondie and Angel Eyes, even though they are dangerous criminals. Ramirez takes Tuco in and gives him sanctuary, even though he knows that Tuco is a wanted criminal. He believes that Tuco should have a chance to redeem himself. Antonio Casale was born on May 17, 1932 in Roma, Italy, when the filming took place, he was at the age of 34. We sadly inform you that he passed away at the age of 85. Antonio Casale portrayed the character Bill Carson, a wounded Confederate soldier who is being transported by the Union Army to a prison camp. He is being escorted by three Union soldiers, Tuco Ramirez, Angel Eyes, and Blondie. Along the way, the group is ambushed by bandits, and Carson is killed. However, before he dies, he tells Tuco that he has hidden a treasure worth $200,000 in a cemetery. Thank you for being here with us on our YouTube channel. Who is your favorite character in the film, the good, the bad, and the ugly? Leave your comments below this video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe so that we can continue uncovering more memorable moments from the world of film and television together.